Hi guys, it's me Paige and welcome to another video and today we are going to be doing a video I am so freaking excited to do. If you do not know, I am going to be a junior in high school. That's really weird for me to say, but... So I wanted to do a video for a while where I give advice to people that are currently in high school and wish they're becoming a sophomore. If you want to, if you're becoming a junior or senior and you want advice from me, I'm sure. Or you're an underclassman that is going to be in high school in the future or is currently going to go into high school as a freshman. Freshy. Sorry. <laughs> So the gist of what happened over these past couple days is that I posted that I needed questions from underclassmen or people that are currently in high school about high school related questions. And I got over 50 questions, probably more. And a lot of them have to do with relationships, personal stuff, school in general, and friends. So I decided, so it'd be easier for myself and you guys, that I do two separate videos where this video I talk about the gist, the broad overview of high school with those questions. And the next video will be me talking about friendships, relationships, and the whole drama toxic thing. I guess. So if you're not interested in watching this broad overview of high school and then just wait till next week or if it's already out then go enjoy watching it. <laughs> what? Before I start this video everything in this video is my own personal opinion so if you do not agree do not hate on me. This is all my personal experience and all my personal opinions about high school in general. So, um, how was your first day entering high school? Well, <laughs> my first day entering high school. I made it an entire video of my opinion of my first day of high school. Actually, it is somewhere around here or it's in the link below. I made a video with my friend Lexi where we do a letter to our post-freshman stuff. I never even did a reaction video to that, so I have not watched that in ages. But I did talk about my whole experience of high school for the first day as a freshman, and Lexi did as well, so go watch that video if you want to know how I what I thought about high school, like the whole, I don't even know, just what my real opinion was. How has your time in high school been? High school in general, as someone that was a freshman and sophomore, I think high school has been okay relating to all the schoolwork, but relating to all the drama, no. <laughs> Do the upperclassmen really hate on the freshmen? Um, I don't know what to say to that. Um, I feel like everyone has the impression that upperclassmen hate freshmen, but the thing is, us upperclassmen hate on freshmen as a joke. We do not bully you, we do not hate on you, we just think all freshies that are come into high school are just freaking all annoying. It might not just be you, it might just be other individuals in general. We do not hate freshmen, we just think you're the babies of the school. I just think personally that a lot of people don't like freshmen because they are middle schoolers going into high school. So they're very immature still or they're mature. It really depends, but we do not hate freshmen. We do not do freshman Fridays. I don't know if actual schools do that, but from what I know, my school does not do freshman Fridays. But if your school does, I am so sorry if you have to go through that. Everyone says freshman year is the best. Is it true? I honestly think freshman year could either be the worst or best year. In my opinion, it was like middle-ish because it's all about experience. Everyone else is not going to have the same experience as you. And what all I can say is that you just need to have, you just need to reach out to a lot of people during your freshman year in which you need to maybe join clubs, maybe you meet friends during these clubs and just focus on your school and just don't focus on your whole life. Not like that, like your whole social life. Is the homework hard? Lol. So in general, homework is really depending on what classes you're taking. If you're taking standard classes, then your homework will probably be okay. If you're taking honor classes, yeah, your homework will be a little bit harder. If you're taking AP, of course you're suspected to work really freaking hard on that homework. And in general, homework will be hard depending on how you 
like the subject or even pay attention. In my opinion, I do not think homework is hard unless you, unless you, <laughs> unless you ask help from someone like an upperclassman or a teacher. That's the only advice I could give about homework. I heard you shouldn't run to class. Is that true? I still run to class. Even, even as an upperclassman going as a junior in high school, I still run to class. If it's the second the bell rings, I sprint. It doesn't matter where I am, I will sprint. But I do not run to class. Like the second the bell rings, I don't zoom to class. I am not the flash. Um, but you should speed walk in a nice pacey little level. You just gotta get out the door. Get out the door. Do people call you freshy just to make fun of you? You see freshy. Um, I don't know where the term freshy came from. I don't know where the term freshy came from, to be honest. I was a freshy, seniors were freshy, sophomores were freshies once. So do not be offended by the name freshy. Everyone calls freshmen freshies. Do you think high school is intimidating? Yes and no. I think high school was very scary at first because it was a new environment with new people and there were some people I did know from previous, from my previous school, but I was still scared to go into a new place with no understanding of it. And I think high school is very intimidating to some people because it's new friends, new teachers, new homework, new everything. And that's why I think it's so intimidating. It could be intimidating to anyone, but in general, I feel like everyone's kind of really a little bit scared of high school. How to not be scared as a freshie. I understand you will get lost. You will be scared at times on your first couple days and go to the wrong classes, but it's okay, really. And I honestly think that being a freshman in a new environment is actually kind of cool in some way because you get to discover these new things, the, the good things. You'll be fine on your first day, couple days, you will be okay. What stuff should you not do in high school? There's a lot of stuff that you shouldn't do in high school. I do not think you should slack in school. I do not think that you should procrastinate. Procrastinating is okay, but there's a huge deal of procrastinating that you... There, what? Okay, you just shouldn't procrastinate. Another thing you should not do in a high school is drugs. <laughs> in general, a lot of people in high school like to do the whole vaping and whatever the edibles i don't even know but it's your choice it's not my choice i'm not gonna get mad at you if you do drugs in high school but it's your own personal choice because that will affect you in some type of way no one else has no part in you choosing to do drugs except yourself so that's what i have to give advice on what to not do in high school how to keep up with grades and motivation I honestly think as someone that focuses a lot on school way too much, I think you should be on top of your game the second you go into high school. I think you should overlay everything, be organized, do all your work on time. It will be promising and very, I promise, that will be all worth it in the end. A lot of people motivate themselves to do well with their grades in high school by just giving them rewards. In my opinion, I think the rewarding thing is that you're receiving an education and in the end you'll be graduating and going off to college and using those into the world, which I think is very promising and a very good motivation. But a lot of people like to do rewards like, oh, if I get an A or a B on this test, I can hang out with Gianna and Caitlin on Friday at the movies. Like that. So keeping yourself motivated and just do not slack. I have my moments where I slack in my work currently right now in my summer homework, but you should always be motivated because if you don't do it now then you're going to complain later really how to deal with anxiety so i am not a professional doctor or anything but all i can say with anxiety in high school i feel like people there's different types of anxiety but a lot of people have anxiety because of stress in the school and also social anxiety in 
you know, going in, um, like, groups, like, hanging out with people or going in clubs and, like, participating. I think that you should just stay calm. So for this question, I'm going to be talking more about stress than anxiety because I said this in this part of the video, I am not a doctor of any kind. I'm only going to be talking about the stress part because all teenagers have stress once in a while in high school. Like, I stress a lot about a lot of things. I just stay in my own little bubble sometimes. What I need to say about anxiety in high school, focus on yourself. Before anything, before anyone else, you need to focus on yourself. Because self-care is the most important thing. Personally, in the past, you should focus on yourself and do self-care in high school. How to not feel insecure. Feeling insecure in high school is very... It's a very sensitive topic because a lot of people are insecure, but a lot of people don't really show it. Insecurity shows a lot in high school because people get compared and that will lead to bullying and if you do not know already i am a victim of freaking bullying it really does suck i do still get made fun of but is you're always gonna get made fun of and insecurity in high school you just should not care about what other people think trust me i do not care about what other people think anymore but there's times where it hits hard in different ways and it's okay to be sad about those things. But the thing is, you are yourself. And you do, you do not need to change yourself for other people. And you do not need to go up to people and just, you know, just give them back their own medicine. You need to just be yourself and show that you're strong. And being insecure, like thinking that you're fat or ugly, it's okay. If you personally think that about yourself, then work on it. Work on it. Do, motivate yourself. That's all I can say is, like I said again, self-care is the number one thing that you should have in yourself in high school. And I think carrying that self-care will lead you to feel stronger in yourself and just love yourself even more. We are now done with part one of this video, which is the broad overview of high school, which is all the underclassmen really type of freshman questions. But if you want to, once again, look at the video where I talk about relationships, toxic environment, clicks, and et cetera, that will be in the next video. So wait till next week. Or if it's already out, go ahead and watch it. It's probably in the link below. So I hope you guys like this video. I really hate doing outros. I don't have a scrunchie on me, sadly. But goodbye. <laughs>